I'm Mike Stanton. It's June 12th. This is the BAM Weekly Mini Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, gentlemen, thank you for being here this week. Uh, Dan, let's start with you. A week ago, uh, we had a very strong employment report. It looked like the economy was coming back. and We were talking about higher yields, and a lot changed in uh, seven days. What, uh, what, what happened in the market? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the nature of uh, the environment we're in, uh, where we continue to see tremendous volatility. As you mentioned, last week's unemployment number had people very enthusiastic about the prospect of a recovery. Um, and as we've rolled through this week, concerns about a renewed uh, or second wave of the coronavirus in some uh, hotspots through the country um, has uh, caused some concerns. We saw it in the equity markets dramatically yesterday with an 1,800-point decline in the Dow. Um, and we've seen a, a corresponding rally in treasuries uh, with the 10-year that had gotten back above at 90 basis points is now below, once again, at 70 basis points as the flight, con uh, flight to quality continues in, in that uh, sector. Um, Muni's underperformed uh, the rallying treasury. Uh, I think partly uh, we've, we have seen a pretty strong Muni environment. We've seen uh, tremendous inflows, again, 2.3 uh, billion of inflows this week. Um, so Muni's has seen a pretty stable, pretty strong environment, um, but uh, just uh, not performing to the level that we saw in the treasury market this week. And they probably outperformed a little bit on last week, uh, initially on the jobs report. So just, you know, narrowing out the volatility helps on both sides. Yep, exactly. <laughs> uh, Brian, how did that translate into the new issue market this week? Yeah, uh, you know, it was a uh, it was definitely a stable environment for for new issues. Uh, we saw a really solid performance uh, on spreads, uh, particularly more progress on the taxable side of the aisle, uh, something that we've been talking about for a couple of weeks. Uh, but overall, we had about 10.7 billion uh, priced on the new issue side. That's closer to 12 billion when you take into account some of the corporate QCIPs that got done. Uh, on the muni side, you know, again, just to reference the continued momentum on taxables, about a third of the supply was taxable uh, and almost 40 percent, again, when you bring in those corporate QCIPs. Um, for BAM, we had a, another very active week. We insured uh, 30 deals uh, for almost $400 million in par. Uh, we expect uh, on the broader market uh, for insured penetration to stay elevated uh, in the 8 or 9 percent camp. Uh, so continued uh, continued liquidity provided by insured bonds in this environment. Some of the uh, some of the highlight deals for us this week. Some of the larger transactions we priced were uh, for 94 million for Valverde USD in California that was priced by Piper, uh, and 47 million uh, taxable bonds for the city of Davie, Florida, Water and Sewer uh, that were priced by RBC. We were also very active uh, in some Iowa schools, uh, 25 million a piece or so in names like Knoxville and Dubuque. Um, and then, you know, our activity was uh, was pretty well diversified across uh, across the country uh, from a geographic standpoint. Our heaviest volumes were in California, uh, followed by Florida, Pennsylvania, um, and then Alabama and Texas. Um, but away from that, we had deals in Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, um, New York. Uh, so things were spread out all over the country. And Dan, we're continuing to see some interesting activity in the short end of the market um, where people are trying to monitor the uh, importance of the Federal Reserve's municipal liquidity facility to uh, liquidity access for issuers. What uh, what did we learn this week? Uh, sure. The, um, you know, last week, Illinois was the first to borrow from the MLF uh, at rates in around the 380. Um, interestingly, this week, uh, New York Dorm Pitt issued over $3 billion in a market-based uh, transaction where they had initially gone out, gone into the market at 65 basis points, was priced at 55 basis points for a nine-month cash flow borrowing, uh, well below what the equivalent numbers would be for the if, if they were to access the MLF. So it's a, just an interesting um, point as far as where the market levels are and where the MLF pricing would be for select issuers. Looking ahead to next week, I think calendar's a little less active. Some of the uh, maybe a little more concentrated to some of the bigger deals next week. Uh, what are you what are you anticipating? Yeah, uh, definitely a little bit more concentrated next week. Volume is uh, probably up slightly, um, but again, you know that's on uh, that's with uh, you know fewer uh, deals but bigger size. Uh, we're expecting probably another twelve billion or so. Uh, that may be even higher than that. Uh, there's a couple of, when you take into account some corporate QCIPs that are uh, scheduled to go. 
Um, but, uh, you know, probably, again, somewhere in that neighborhood of uh, between 11 and 13 billion or so uh, that, that's scheduled to price. Uh, for BAM, we've got another active week. Uh, we'll be again in, you know, at least in the neighborhood of, uh, of 250 million or so. Some of the uh, some of the bigger deals that are scheduled to sell with BAM Insurance next week are 100 million for Hot Springs, Arkansas. Uh, that's being priced by Stevens, uh, and then about uh, another 25 million for Eureka City Schools uh, in California being priced by Stiefel. And that Hot Springs uh, transaction is the second half. They were in the market about two weeks ago with uh, wastewater bonds. These are water bonds, and uh, we have a BAM Credit Insights video that talks about both of those credits. They're a little bit different, so it's worth the time to. Uh, to learn from Alexis Platas more about that transaction. It's available on our website. Uh, thanks, gentlemen, for uh, taking the time today, and we'll talk to you next week. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption, like the one we're experiencing right now. BAM. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM insured municipal bonds.